Welcome back, everybody, to Serene Queen TV. I'm your host, T. How are y'all doing today? Today, I'm going to be talking about Kiki Palmer and Darius. I'm going to give y'all my opinion on it. Please like, share, and subscribe, and let's talk in the comments. Okay, I think this is just a situation of protect your womb, okay? Simple as that. You cannot give every man a baby. I really don't want to put this down to money just yet. I want to put it down to character first because that's what's most important when choosing a partner and especially choosing somebody you want to have kids with because there are plenty of men who have money but they're just aren't good men. You know, it's it's lonely at the top. The more money you make, the harder it is for you to find people who um, are, are, again, are single and making that kind of money, you know, too. So that's why we really shouldn't be talking about money, period. Because in at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Like, when you really think about it, it doesn't matter. Like, it's about the person. There are so many broke women who are with rich men. There are um, so many broke women who are with um, middle income men. There are broke men who are with rich women and um, broke men who are with women who got money. And it, it goes both ways. The finances and people taking care of their partner, whether it's a homosexual or a heterosexual relationship, it goes both ways. Like, it's that's and that is why it's not about money, it's about character. It's about how you treat people. Because even if you have money, if you are a person who has morals, you're not going to let somebody beat your ass because they have a bag. Because that just shows you, again, a man who will beat your ass, he will beat your ass whether he broke or, or, or when he get his bag. Because that's just the type of nigga that he is. And that's just facts. Like, that's just facts. A person is a, a cheating ass nigga is going to cheat on you whether he got money or not. A lying ass bitch, a cheating ass bitch, a scamming ass bitch is going gonna, is gonna to be that way no matter how much money her man have, how much money she have. It's just how, it's just her character. So with this whole situation with Kiki and Darius, it's about Darius's character. It's about Darius running his ass to the internet. It's about all of that. Nicki Minaj has been... People, people always coming for Kenneth, saying Kenneth don't have a job, saying Nikki take care of him and all this other shit. Whatever Kenny got going on, he's not making money like Nick, because it's a, it's hard. It's a lot of, it's hard to find a man, again who was single, ready, available, wants to be married, all of that, who's trying to do the same thing you trying to do, who is making as much money as Nicki Minaj. You know what I mean? Like, it's hard to find a man on her level. So it's like, if you really just trying to be in love and trying to be in a real relationship, it can't all be about, you know, oh, you know, my, my boo rich. It's about, like, I love this person and all of that bullshit is not going to get in the way. I'm secure enough in myself to do what I got to do. I'm blessed to have a person who is financially well off, who can take care of us. I just want to take care of them in return because that's the least I could do. Because it's really supposed to be about if you love this person, but, but when you really don't love them and when you just see them as an opportunity or a bag, you're going to get real tired real quick because you know, like, you're going to start to see it as a job because you really don't love them. When you love somebody, you don't mind just letting them be them, letting them uh, be themselves, letting them shine because you know, you know that, um, that they love you and you love yourself and you are secure within your position in their lives and how much you help them and how much you do for them. And if you feel like you need to get something for yourself, there's nothing wrong with being like, you know what? Like, I love you, but I need to, you know, either go back to school, start a business. Like, I need to figure out what I'm passionate about because I do want something of my own to be proud of. There's ways to communicate and go about what you want to do. And it's not about spending up your partner's money on fuck ass ideas like it's about really taking your your own personal past serious and I think for men you know men need they have egos but men are supposed to be men women are supposed to be women and, and society confusing gender roles is part of why there's all this confusion 
in um and especially in the black community but in in relationships in general because it's going on with the white folks it's going on you know in other communities too um men do need to feel needed they need to feel valued men need to be nurtured coddled and that's what women are supposed to do and when you try to put a man in in a woman's role it's not gonna work because like women women have adapted well with this Jezebel spirit and this Lilith energy going on in society women have adapted well to the masculine energy and I think part of that is because we've had to because a lot of us have been abandoned by men and have been done wrong by men so we've had to um, out of out of what the, the, the divine feminine wants to survive because we keep this universe we keep this planet you know we keep it going when we've been left in isolation and abandonment women have had to assume yes both roles to keep the shit together and keep it going nature has had to find a way and now the women are very masculine so the men are not wrong when they talk about us with the jezebel spirit and us you know again masculine and all of that shit yes with us um you know with this jezebel spirit dressing scantily clad you know embracing sexuality and all of that a lot of that is because that's how a lot of us are making our money stepping into the masculine role by exploiting our femininity and you know getting a bag behind it and so when these men now now the men are becoming all feminine because they want to fucking break and want to be taken care of but then when they find themselves in feminine roles not making as much as their partner because that's a, one of the things that does that is a big marker of masculinity is being able to financially provide or being able to provide any type of way protect and provide and protect with Darius he feels small men find men men want to be taken care of and then they find themselves in these situations where okay you're taken care of now all you got to do is take care of your, your woman and they don't like it or they have an issue with it because now again now they feel emasculated now they feel you know now they feel like a bitch and it's like well that's why you if you feel like you know you can't just take care of your woman and 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 be happy with a woman that makes more money than you because you're not defined by that you know yes being able to take care of your family is um is a big part of masculinity but again pr protecting is too what's the point of you having a bunch of money and you can't fight you can't you can't shield her from other men or you're the danger yourself so again you're not protecting this woman from abuse and protecting her from harm like that's why again it, it really is not all about money it really is about um again you can provide in more than one way do you provide peace do you provide guidance do you provide protection like it is all wrapped into one and with darius he's feminine he feels emasculated and he just he's like you know a man what does the bible say a double a double-minded man is confusing all of his ways because with darius it's just like okay so you you met a girl you had a baby with another girl you want you didn't want that baby you wanted to have a baby with kiki for a bag but now you're having trouble just assuming your role and when it comes to kiki when it comes to kiki her with usher i do think the outfit was scandalous you know i do i do think she looked you know kiki and, and let's talk about that let's talk about that okay part of me is starting to think this is all rituals because ever since kiki has had that baby yes she has been all you know all out there with it even the average person has noticed this so we're not about to act like darius is just completely crazy she was at that um she was at that concert you know all hugged up with usher and ass out like would I have been all that hugged up with Usher? No. Like, even as a fan, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be doing that. I know that Kiki knows him, but I do think that she was being a little fresh. I really do. And I get her, you know, vibing along, but I think, you know, she was a bit hugged up. 
all I know is Kiki had this baby. She was in some cheetah print cat suit, you know, giving beta sex kitten vibes. And this is exactly what the media needs. Another gender war spawned by a celebrity and all of that. It's just, it's crazy. You know, I don't know. I don't think if this is real, I don't think she needs to continue to be with this dude. You know, he needs to get his shit together. He needs to figure out what he wants to do. Like this Hollywood shit, you know, all of that. It may not be for him. I know his brother is doing a Hollywood thing and that's cool. But, you know, it's like Darius, there's nothing wrong with getting a CDL. There's nothing wrong with going back to school, getting a trade. There's nothing wrong with, um, there's nothing wrong with getting a degree. There's nothing wrong with learning how to code. Like, there's nothing wrong with getting, like, an average everyday person job that offers you benefits, 401k, and financial stability. And no fucking drama and cameras and, and stress and getting dragged on social media. There's nothing wrong with just, like, being a normal-ass nigga. You just had a baby with a rich bitch. And that's cool for you. Like, focus on getting a, get, like getting your bag up. So you can get your own home, so you can buy a home somewhere. You might need to do, you might need to like really get the fuck out of Cali and like all of that. So you can like whatever it takes for you to stand on your own as a man. And really try to protect your son from that evil ass industry. But nigga, you already lost because now people hate you. Your son about to be right for the program. They don't like you nigga. And they about to get rid of your ass. So mm, y'all, let me know what y'all think. Let's talk in the comments. This is all crazy. (laughs) Kiki online dancing in a routine. It's comical as fuck. I'm just like, what the hell is going on here? So let's talk, y'all. Bye. Have a great day.